All right, podcast here. You're listening, right? It's Howard Stern here. And I got to tell you, I mean, Robin, I'm not really into podcasts. Well, that's like all those people who used to be on cable access. They yeah. thought they were They were on TV. Television. They would pay a company and put my TV. Hey, look, I'm on TV. No, you're not on TV. I mean, yeah, you're on TV, but nobody gives a shit about you. <laughs> but Trenton Waves, it's not a podcast. This is a friggin' experience. Frank and Christina Sasso are the best. The best thing since Transcendental Meditation. The good people of Trenton deserve way better representation Four members of the council are breaking the law, that's our daily situation We don't need these people at the top who are only out for themselves If the people of Trenton won't act now, our town will be a living hell Let's focus only on the positives here at Trenton Waves. Can we ask you all to describe your dream city today? My dream Trenton would be without Kathy McBride and Robin Vaughn. Without Santiago Rodriguez and Sonia Wilkins, that's for sure. We won't let them ever defeat us. Your Trenton Waves with Frank and Christina. It's the official, unofficial podcast of the city of Trenton, New Jersey. Yeah. With your host, Frank Ferocious Sasso. Trenton still makes and the world still takes. And Christina Firestarter Sasso. Trenton is Mayberry with attitude. Hang tight, because we're going to meet the lifeblood behind the culture, food, arts, music, pork roll, punk rock, hair, books, education, talent, events, art. Of Trenton, New Jersey, here's Frank and Christina. Creepy stuff. Very creepy. That's the creepy version of the Godfather thing. I know. That's not the happy. No. Let's da, mom da, 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 da. That's, no, that's the, the way you're getting whacked. Yeah, when you hear this, you're going to get whacked. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> after right. this comes a kiss and then a bullet in the head. <laughs> that's right. That's <laughs> or like right. a ride in the car somewhere. That's right. Or a ride in the car. Oh, my goodness gracious. What the heck is going on, people? Podcast you. <laughs> Whip, Listen, whip. can I just say, yeah. I really, really can't wait to get back to the happy I know, really, times. what is going like, on? I really want to just ask people what their dream Trenton is and right. tell their life stories and all of that stuff. But we do have great news. Ding dong, the witches are dead. The wicked witches, the wicked witches. Ding dong, the wicked witches are dead. Yeah, and by witches, you're talking about the current <laughs> council, correct? Yes. That includes Robin Vaughn, Kathy McBride, and Sonia. Who? Sonia Wilkins, who? <laughs> Sonia Wilkins, <laughs> and Marge is gone, but she's not a witch. Oh no, no, no! I didn't. She's stepping I didn't down. Finish. Yes, no, yes. but we love Marge. Love Marge. Because Marge is cool. Because she has a, a sense. Of, she has a sense about her, and Look, so does Joey Harrison. Everybody makes mistakes, me included. I know what? it's hard to believe. <laughs> wait, a minute, wait a second. Wait a second. How am I always wrong going in? I'm wrong. And you make mistakes? I can't believe that. Come on. <laughs> but I like Marge as a person and as a friend. <laughs> well, podcast, yeah, after today, I think we'll be back to our normal right. spirited, we, good we spirited be, show. We, we won't have the jingle anymore. Although, if anybody wants to write us a little jingle, we're always happy to play them. I don't know how you're going to beat Mr. Bears, but it's all I good. I know. He was good. We enjoyed that one. He actually just wrote a 10-second a jingle for the Your Valuable Home Show, oh, which is amazing. And like it's very 10 good. 10 seconds. I'm like, this is amazing. I he rhymes goodness. Kevin with Bulletin. <laughs> I don't know how he does that. It rhymes when he does it. Just a plug for him. Like, if you're looking for someone to write a little jingle for you, contact this guy. He's really good. Well, contact us and I'll contact him. I'm going to put uh, his email out there. Yes. Tom, Dick, and Harry are going to be calling him for a jingle. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have to pay him, okay? We do have a great show coming up next week with Mr. Mel Lipsick. Yes. The I'm artist. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Yes. I was, started sketching him today. I'm going to give him a drawing that I did of him. Okay. He'll probably kick us out. Is he going to draw you? That'll be worth something. He's not going to draw me. <laughs> I know. Why would you want to draw me? Right? I agree. Thank you. Thanks a lot. She, my wife is totally over me, podcast. Yeah. There was a time when my wife, she would count the minutes. I still do. Before oh, she on. saw me. I mm. still do. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to see Mel Lipsick. He's a local artist. 
very, very prestigious very accomplished, and yes. accomplished and famous. So good. We're going to watch the documentary about him before we interview him. Okay. It's like a 30-minute documentary on okay. right? YouTube. And here's a funny story. So I'm booking the appointment with him. Mm-hmm. And he won't come into the studio. Okay, that's he right. Just, he does what he does. Fine. Mm-hmm. You know what? That's okay. He's eccentric. He's talented. I'll deal with it. Mm-hmm. We'll go to his house. We'll okay. go to his house. I'd love to see his house. He says to me, I don't have any food to give you. And I said, that's okay. I said, is there anything you want me to bring you? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to put you out into any trouble. And I said, no, it's no trouble. A tuna fish sandwich. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa. Okay. I like tuna fish. Okay. I'll bring you a tuna fish sandwich. I want one too. I'm in the mood for a tuna on rye. We'll go to the Italian People's Bakery mm-hmm. and Matt will whip up two tuna fish sandwiches. And I think I'll bring Mel a little chocolate cake too. He likes that? He does. He's not diabetic? No. He's very right. healthy and hale. I'm just saying, healthy and what? Hale. Hale? Yes. What does that mean? Healthy. I've never <laughs> and, heard healthy and robust and, and... I never heard healthy and hale. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Listen, this show today had to be done. Okay. Because I couldn't believe my eyes and ears <laughs> when I saw this thing. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that, what I we're going to talk about, you know those glasses that have the eyeballs on springs? Yeah. My eyes popped out of my head like that and went boing, boing, <laughs> boing, boing. boing. <laughs> <laughs> His two eyes bulging out like, like Jim Carrey in the mask. Right, All right. exactly. <laughs> There's a video out there called The Champ Is Here, okay? And it's on the YouTube channel. The Douglas H. Palmer 2023 Exploratory Team, whatever the hell that means. Is this his proctologist? Yes, yeah, so it, his proctologist made a YouTube video. <laughs> it might as well be, it, it because it looks better. like it came out of somebody's it ass. Would have been <laughs> oh, we're being so nasty. Good. <laughs> anyway, we didn't even start the show yet. What a, what well, was, I, we still where, have a guest. Where are the nice days where everyone we loved everybody? <laughs> this is. Douglas H. Palmer's proctologist YouTube channel <laughs> oh, no. made a video called The Champ Is Here, which I'm not even sure if they got the rights from Jadakiss, who does that song. Oh, but yeah. that's a whole other issue. That's, okay. a copy, that's, that's at least $150,000. Someone like right to there. turn him in for that. Yeah, do you want to turn this in? Just look that up. And I feel bad because it got only a little bit over 200 views. There's like five likes and four subscribers to this thing. This mm. doctor has to amp up his social media presence. I feel like helping him out. So I say we're going to put this video okay. on our YouTube channel. Okay. With our commentary. Oh, I love it. And Podcasty, you get to be a part of this because we're going to unpack this video mm-hmm. on today's episode. Because mm-hmm. I'm telling you, when yeah. you see this thing. We're doing this as a public service. It's a public service announcement. Bump announce, up his numbers. Yeah, we're trying to help him. <laughs> You hear yes. that podcast? Yes. So this video is basically about him making an announcement that he's going to run for Mercer County Executive. He's saying that Brian Hughes is a friend, but it's time for him to go. Yes. But Okay, before we do anything else, because this episode would not be complete without this oh, guy. Oh, no. We've been waiting. He is the treasure of pleasure. <laughs> the bastard of goodness. <laughs> That's right. He's here with us today. Mr. Bill Kearney is back with us again. Yay! And we are very excited about it. Hello. Hello. Who isn't excited about it? <laughs> the bastard of goodness. <laughs> all right, podcast. I've been calm called down. that before. <laughs> You've been all that before? I've been called that before. You know how bastard of goodness came about? <laughs> I do know, but it's worth telling the story. You, do, you know the story? Yeah, it has to do with online posting correct no oh not at all <laughs> okay so you don't Maybe know it's a different story he has, his own, he has his own story <laughs> yeah. christine and i were in the kitchen christine was upset about something and she followed it up with you know i'm not the bastion of goodness i understand that people get to where the, you know and so she was saying all that and i thought she said the bastard of goodness and i said oh. the bastard of goodness and she started laughing immediately and i said well no you're definitely not the bastard of goodness that would be bill kearney oh, well, that's how that happened <laughs> but and then i called you immediately and you said you wanted an embroidered sash <laughs> I with did. that on there you know I, <laughs> and the treasure if ever there was a title that fit <laughs> i'm the oh king of that at God. least i love it God. at least <laughs> <laughs> bill did you see this video i did <laughs> i did it I floated can't. around i couldn't avoid it i tried to not watch it and then it became an assignment to yeah, watch I it yeah i tried not to watch it too it was more entertaining than i even thought it would be yes yeah. um, yes i kind of was like wow this is from the vaults yeah <laughs> you yeah. know you could almost smell the dust on it it's yeah. so old and I the thought, sulfur i thought it was yes the sulfur. <laughs> the sulfur i thought it was going to be some slick commercial i didn't realize it was going to be history mm-hmm. like a guy. bicentennial minute yes, yes, I remember those. <laughs> I remember those. I remember those. <laughs> we couldn't escape them after the news but before entertainment tonight right. yeah <laughs> 
call it that. For an entire year? <laughs> yes. The bicentennial minute. Well, this is the bicentennial five minutes and 49 seconds. And five minutes? Oh, oh this, is, no, this is this is epic. It's like a documentary set to Jadakiss soundtrack. <laughs> five minutes? I know. I was ready to place my bet on the ring <laughs> oh. fight at the end of the video. I was like, where do I make my wager? I know. What's he running for? He's got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's you should be running for. You should be running away. Let's unpack this. Thing. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go through this podcast. <clears throat> if you want to follow along at home, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a- like looking at a resume from thirty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So we are going to unpack this today. We hope you enjoy it. And like I said, you can go to the New Pod City YouTube channel. Why don't you watch it first Mm -hmm. and then come back and hit play on this episode and you'll hear us unpack it. Frank made me watch it this morning. We don't don't want to like cloud anybody's. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. (laughs) Form your own opinion by all means. (laughs) We don't want to influence anybody here. Okay. (laughs) Make your own decisions. It's too good. Our listeners are intelligent. All right. Here we go. The champ is here. The champ is here. The champ is here. Okay, wait. First of all. (laughs) Oh, my God. That is copyrighted. That's Jada Kiss. Right off the bat. Imagine the the massive ego. (laughs) Good lord. For Champ. that to be the song. I'm thinking, where's Muhammad Ali? You know? know. He's spinning in his grave. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> the massive ego that's reflected in this soundtrack. Like, oh, it's a politician. The <laughs> you called him mayor for 20 years. I call him dad. Please welcome my father, Doug Palmer. Oh, my God. When I first heard that, I thought she said, vote for my daddy. She said... He said, please welcome... Welcome him. him. Welcome him. Right. Okay. Come on. She used to tell us not to put our garbage out. Did she? Yeah. They they would use her voice on the emergency Ah, calls. I didn't know that. Yeah. She's a cute little girl. And she's actually probably much older than that now. I think she's a woman now. Yeah. she's like 51. I think she has Mm -hmm. kids of her own. she 51? Mm -hmm. All right. But, I mean, really? Using your child for your advert and your... Well, puppies and kids are the number one in all advertising. But show her now. Yeah. When well, I they fr- do. When there is a picture of her, a more updated picture, and I was like, "Oh!" And she was. She's she looks be just in her like 20s. her mother. Yes, yes, yes. in her twenties. Yeah. You know, I'm an ACE editor. As an editor, I look at this thing. Whoever edited this thing should be ashamed of themselves. <laughs> really, I'm not kidding. I'm, well, they paid good money for their Penco tech. There's a two levels below a subliminal flash of Bill Clinton right before the shot of his daughter. I noticed comes that. Up. I noticed. Come that. on, guys. Take a second. I know you're making a stupid video, but to have some pride in the video, at least. But again, think of, think about when it was made. Maybe when it was made, this was high-tech stuff. This was no. Just, this was just 2010. This was just coming together. I'm trying. I'm Even trying. Even in 2010. That. I'm trying to give a little help Maybe here. his daughter was a film major. That's what in I thought. Wait a second. Wait, That's what I listen, thought. Listen, I don't care who did it. I don't care who did it. His Ray daughter, Charles did it. His wife, <laughs> Stevie Wonder, whoever. Hillary Clinton Helen getting Keller. behind. It's like someone just got the, a new uh, video toaster and they went on iMovie and cut this thing together. I could do better on TikTok. <laughs> No, but if you're doing an exploratory thing, you're going to put Again your with best the exploratory. Foot. Why even use that word? Team? It sounds like something's being done to me when I watch <laughs> well, it. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly you're right. Being I, feel like you're getting, I feel like I'm getting a colonoscopy when I watch it. <laughs> the quality would have been better. Yes. Here we go. Top job in the state's capital city squared off today. I think give Mr. Board. Palmer time to yeah, defend himself. That's 1991. Mr. Almenti, the new vision, my new vision will start July 1st. Oh, don't go here. I take off the table access. access. So help me God. What year was that? I think it was 1990 or not. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was so a big deal. I think it should be a big deal. Who was that reporter? I don't know. I thought it was Jessica Savage. <laughs> Jessica Savage? Was it? No, she died. Was, well, she, she, was she still back alive then. back then? Not when they filmed this video. <laughs> yeah, this is an old video. This, remember, we're going back to the yeah. vault. Bicentennial moment. This is a bicentennial moment. <laughs> right. Yes, here we go. Public County domain. And Trenton's first black mayor. My son, he was a, a servant for the people of Trenton. And I do think that they really loved him. I would never call him a servant of the people of Trenton. But oh, no. that's his dad. So it's nice to know that his dad is proud of him. That yes, yes. yes. Oh, what's he gonna say? 
Well, I mean, it, that's he how his dad... He could have refused to appear in the video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh-huh. So I'm happy that his dad was proud of him, for him. But to say he's the servant of the people, ee, that's Well, he knew it. how to make a lot of money being a servant of the people. I was going to say, for who? For us? <laughs> for the people? No, I don't, for, oh, for, for the, himself. For, for the servants. <laughs> <laughs> for his servants. Exactly. Like in his house, this, which is not in Trenton. <laughs> okay. There should be a caption that says, four to five dads are cool with this message <laughs> and he's not the fifth <laughs> he's actually the fifth um question about it mayor palmer has been blessed by god daryl armstrong we've all been blessed by god i Let's was just it. gonna say that i was god doesn't only bless mayors <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's a really oh nice thing god. to say it's a nice thing to say but well come what's on. The, he's the pastor of course he's gonna say that well, again it's the truth it's the to- it is the truth, but he wasn't blessed specifically. <laughs> right, no. that's my only issue. Could you imagine? <laughs> well, look, at least he's speaking the truth. He's a pastor. He had to say something, and he said the truth. He mm-hmm. did say the truth. So I give him his right. A yes, props he for sounded that. exclusive. Though. <laughs> it did sound exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, it, it also got cut, so we I, don't know what else he said. I know. Give the guy <laughs> a he's break. He's been blessed by God, but let me tell you, and then that's right, where it cuts right. it off. Oh, who's the next the guy? magic of uh, editing. Yes. Here's, this, here's this next guy. I believe the record will indicate that Mayor Palmer probably produced more new housing in this city than any other mayor in this in this time. Uh, it was amazing to see the growth of our city under his leadership. Really? Well, we have all that housing coming because he accepted everybody in New Jersey's <laughs> affordable housing credits in the form of cash. Yes. And we're still building subsidized and low-income housing to meet those obligations. From that he 20- made yes. years and years and ago. And that's why Trenton's become very concentrated as far as a, a poverty city. Everything you have to do to serve the poverty industry <laughs> is here in Trenton. <laughs> the poverty industry. Well, unfortunately. You there is an industry. No, you're not kidding. You're right. I, I hate right. to be that kidding. way. Right. Uh, the people aren't getting the kind of services that the poverty industry is reaping exactly. for people being here. <laughs> he produced more housing. And the question is, what kind of housing? We came in 2003 and we were seeing not such great housing going up, you know, low income housing, which fine. You need places for people to live. But what was happening is Princeton, Lawrenceville, Hamilton, they were all paying us to take their their low income people. Right. right. Or their builders low income building requirement. Because if you have half million dollar, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar homes in Lawrence, you really don't want a high density, low income unit on the corner. And that's how they're supposed to be, according to law, is Mm -hmm. if you're going to build $10 million homes, we want you to build X percentage of them as low income. Mm -hmm. And that'll be like tucked around the corner Mm -hmm. or something like that. There are uh, affordable housing in the suburbs. There Mm -hmm. definitely is, but a lot less. But not the concentration that we had right? that we took money for, that Palmer took money for. Right, which obligates the city to do that. Maybe the intentions were good. The need is here. There's no doubt but at this point to say market rate you know it, yeah. market rate in trenton is kind of low income mm-hmm. it has to be there are a few new houses out on liberty street but they're three hundred thousand dollars they're brand new you know row homes that were built they're beautiful kind of like la style or mm-hmm. i've seen them in philadelphia but right. i always thought our city could do better with right. the stock that we have you know, know beautiful housing stock but anyway i just also wanted to say to your point where you said you can build a million dollar development and beautiful homes with high income people and have some low income housing there because what you want to do is uplift the community, right? So Mm -hmm. you want a mixture of income levels so that the people who are living in poverty have something that they can reach for and get to with jobs and businesses that they can either start themselves Mm -hmm. or work at and so on. No, absolutely. They shouldn't have to load up all their trucks and then go out to the suburbs. Right, or get on the buses. And, That's happening right. anyway. And right. those people are doing very well for themselves, mm-hmm. too. Yeah, so, and he says about across the country. I'm like, really? Of course, he's the best across the whole country? Mm. I've been to other small towns, which right. Trenton is, doing way better mm-hmm. as far as the kind of housing stock they have and the communities they have and the life and restaurants and businesses right. that they have. And as far as I remember, I remember fighting the housing that Palmer was trying to 
shoved down our throats, which was Leewood, which would have been a disaster, knocking down 10 city blocks of beautiful old historic row homes. They're still some of our most beautiful homes. They're large, they're varied, they're brick. Exactly. They're not all ticky tacky boxes. And a lot of the people that live in those homes live mortgage free because they've paid their mortgages already. So my question always was back then was where are these people going to go? Oh, well, they can buy one of the houses we're going to build for market value. I'm like, where are well, they going to get that we, money? We chose to live in an old home for right, a reason. Right. When moving into a brand new house that was built in two weeks mm-hmm. is not a consolation. Right. You know, it just exactly. isn't for me. Mm-hmm. And that's the whole point of people moving to a city is to be able to live. If you want to live in a brand new box, you can live in Ewing. Right. Right. Hamilton anywhere. has plenty. Right. Well, yeah. that's the thing. I mean, I remember yeah. I remember Doug even saying to me once, say, you know, Frank, people need parking here, Frank. They need parking. The staircases in some of these houses are very, very narrow, and they need to be able to move furniture up there. I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? They've been well, moving furniture for a hundred years I know, in these houses. I know, exactly. Some of them actually build it up there. And it's a city. Yeah, there's parking problems. That's why it would be cool to have a bicycle path or yeah. a good walking public transport and yeah. walking access, right. like where we can actually cross over to the river exactly. and so on. Not tear them down and put so, up Staten Island. So what right. I've seen of the houses that he did bring in, they're inappropriate. They look like ticky tacky boxes and they don't mm-hmm. even fit in the community and to be to no. this day looking at them now they're kind of falling apart and looking a little raggedy yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so no, you're right well what happens <clears throat> is a lot of these they have the best intentions but the reality is we just don't have enough buyers in that price range who are going to pay the the market rates for those kinds of homes and then what happens is unless the neighborhood in the surrounding areas offer other amenities that's why you would buy in a place like that out in Robbinsville you know it's not for me but people love it because then you can still go to 10 restaurants Mm -hmm. right there right without having to pay for parking or -hmm. or anything else right that's why people move to Pittsburgh because there are places that they can maybe they can't park their car but maybe they don't even have a car well I think for a while there was a a desire to make the suburbs putting it into the city and I never really understood that I said Mm -hmm. embrace being a city Mm -hmm. uh, you know just like why aren't they building new small houses for people for a while it was like oh it's five thousand square feet well i don't want to live in five thousand square feet right so, and now people don't want to because they can't heat it right right, <laughs> right. or pay taxes on right it. exactly right. so they're sitting empty to say to mayor palmer thank you for your involvement with um building a bigger and a better trend and helping us uh, the people of Trenton, that because I've rented for years, to become homeowners at affordable rates and live and feel comfortable about it. Okay, so right on the next block from us is the Hovnanian development, which was right. by the old Delaware Inn and the Champale mm-hmm. site. And they told us this would be 100% owner-occupied. Exactly. I'm in big support of that. I think that that, that would be communities. great. Mm-hmm. And they did a nice job as far as keeping the outside facing the street rather than the parking facing the street. But this is now 10, 15 years later, and it's not all owner-occupied anymore. No. So who who do you go to with that? It's a private property. You can't, you can't tell them what to do with it. You can't force their... people to do yeah. it. They, exactly. Their intention can be 100%, mm-hmm. just like the Whitaker on South Broad. Mm-hmm. You know, the, it went up quick. It looked like a nice place. They were reasonably priced. And I don't think they ever sold out. And I think now they're mostly rentals. And again, it's because the amenities don't come. The idea was someone had talked about that being so bro, South Broad, mm-hmm. you know, where you had, you know, maybe a, a a conglomeration of different kinds of ethnic restaurants, Mm -hmm. you know, like a walking street, even if it's a block or two. But that never materialized. So if you live there, you're kind of like, okay, I got to get in the car and go everywhere. Unless you live at the Mill Hill, which is fine. You know, you can walk there. (laughs) You can stumble right in. Yes, and And stumble out. I like I that agree. so bro. So I, bro. I know. Yeah. And that's his big selling point that he brought housing here. You brought housing, well, but no amenities. Well, let's back up a minute. When you're mayor for 20 years mm-hmm. or more, your job is to bring housing here. Your mm-hmm. job mm-hmm. is to do it. So whether you bring one in 20 years or 12 in 20 years, it's all good, mm-hmm. but that's the job. That's what our taxes are for. That's what you ran for office for. It's not mm-hmm. like, oh my God, this is a surprise that, <laughs> well, you know, I can't be wow. mayor. And look, all the sudden there's new homes no you have directors that do it and i'm gonna say he did have some good people especially early on in doug's uh, yeah, at times, yeah. years he had some mm-hmm. good people on mm-hmm. board the city is a different place today than it was in 1990 um 
you can see that in some of the physical development, and certainly you can see that during his tenure with just the attitude of the city. Um, and he played a major role in that. Bill Watson. I mean, Chief of Staff. It's, yeah, he was. Isn't that Bonnie Watson's husband? Incestuous brother, thing. Yes. Whatever he said is irrelevant now. How long ago was this video made? Would you at say at least that's, a dozen years old? Yeah. So would you say least. that was even a true statement? Well, no, because Doug and his police director ignored the existence of gangs for five years. That mm-hmm. was a huge problem. Mm-hmm. It's a nice video. It's it's all spinning the positive. But right. I'm just if, not. If we could it. go in a time machine mm-hmm. and go back, we could watch it and say, "Oh, okay." But now. Mm-hmm. We're here in the future. By this point, I think late in his thing, everything was kind of suspect. Uh, like at least to me and a mm-hmm. lot of voters, it was like, what's really the motivation here? Who's really calling the shots? Why is this happening this way? To the average voter or resident, mm-hmm. the net result looks good. And, right. and I'm not going to deny we had some good results during those 20 years. You'd have to. Right. You know, a broken clock's right twice a day. <laughs> I wouldn't say it was that bad. Right. Well, <laughs> like the attitude of the city today, right now, in the present, divided, and I would say when is he leaving yeah. like please leave us alone already go well, away he retired but he still thinks everybody wants him around we don't he's like a, a bat hanging around <laughs> <laughs> a bad penny go away we, go got, away. we got rid of the witches now we got rid of the bat <laughs> the bad penny and the bat the ghouls <laughs> the, the ghouls <laughs> and the goons this city has given me my dream oh, and mayor man. palmer's all his work should go on. It should not stop there. I would think he'd make a great governor. He's got my vote. He would go out in the streets or at an event, and everybody would know him, from the young people who were energized by him, the older people who really were pleased. Hey, Bonnie. Medina. Bonnie Watson Cole Medina, whatever your name is. <laughs> I, enough for you. You know, you got to really, go, too. Like mm-hmm. I said I said in one of my posts, I'm like, I'm done with the tired old men with no vision. And the tired old women, uh, women. With, old, uh, with no vision. Tired well, old they women already with... brought in the replacements. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> they're already <laughs> grooming. No, they're already grooming. Certain. Oh, like Yasminelli oh, Gonzalez. Okay. Yeah, I'll say it. I don't care. Yasminelli. She doesn't even live in the city, so she's perfect. For this regime, absolutely. But we don't want this regime. No, we don't want this regime. Nor do we want Yasminelli. Yeah. Whatever her name is. And, I'll tell and, you what, we heard a lot of talk for the past four years about we got to do the change. We got to make a change. Mm-hmm. And then we ended up, well, we don't know where we ended up right. yet. We but still so don't. far, it looks like we ended up exactly where everyone said we, we ended don't want to end up. We ended, up. With, we ended right. up with loose change is what we yeah. ended up with. Right, yeah. right. It's just, and so Bonnie Watson, Cole Medina, mm-hmm. and her husband, Bill, he can go to, I maybe he came into the studio once. To check it out. Did he, came, he was totally set. We're not up. dumb, folks. Yeah, hey, Bill, I'm not an idiot, okay? <laughs> I get what you do. I want to do a podcast. No, you don't. And but you know said what? He had a nice voice. He did have a, he has a great voice. He should do a podcast. <laughs> but he was came in here. He was interviewing me. Like, hey, dude, I don't need you. Right, right. <laughs> he was checking it out. Oh, please. Ah. The older people who really were pleased with him because they had watched him since he was a youngster in the city of Trenton. So he really was Trenton's own. Here we go again with Trenton's own. If you mm-hmm. weren't born and raised here, then yeah. you don't deserve to represent anybody. Right. And, right. And, exactly. You know, I don't think it's a bad thing when someone's born and raised here. I really mm-hmm. don't. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of us who come from somewhere else who've been here longer than you've been alive since you've been picking your nose in high school and yeah. right. paying taxes. Right. You know? exactly. and, You're exactly yeah. right. I want to congratulate Doug on uh, all those years of great service to the people of Trenton, to the state and really to the country when he chaired the U.S. Conference of Mayors. Uh, He's sitting next to Mike Bloomberg. He's just sound asleep. Doug jumped on the Bloomberg bandwagon because oh. he couldn't get on any other yeah, well, he, gonna do <laughs> he couldn't get on any other bandwagon. <laughs> but I was like, oh. no, who on the national stage knows who this is? I thought it was great initially when he was head of the conference of mayors but mm-hmm. day one i was like how does this help our city here mm-hmm. right it, it doesn't it, it, doesn't. it, it helped his him. political career of course, of course. You know, right. well that's um, what this is about which went nowhere i said he's out of town more than he's here mm-hmm. going to these events and again i don't have a problem with it when it benefits the people right but right mm-hmm. i'm just not seeing it no i never did i yes. just realized something that whole leewood thing mm-hmm Juan Martinez, mm-hmm. who passed away, he was really out in front with that whole thing. Right, he was pushing that. He was very prom- hard. He was totally promised a very job. Very hard. And, and he was promising people things that he couldn't deliver. Well, his job was to soften up the market, to really, on a grassroots level, get this thing sold. Right. And I'm sure there was quite a reward for that. He was totally promised a job. And it's just interesting how 
Yasminelli, Juan Martinez's daughter, mm-hmm. is in like a similar kind of a setup mm-hmm. where he needs her on council. He needs a couple of people on council mm-hmm. because he wants to be in Trenton. He wants to do stuff in Trenton. Hey, Doug, why don't you just move to Trenton, Doug? Well, I don't want him in Trenton. But no, I don't want him here either. But, but like, you know, put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> Listen, he didn't run for mayor because I think he had other aspirations, which clearly went nowhere. Right. So what's he going to do? He's going to come back where he felt like he was the champ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's going to try and come and muscle himself back in where he felt he's big man on campus. But we've totally outgrown you, Doug. We already know your shtick. We know what you're all about. And we really don't want you or your cronies. Well, and people under 40 don't even know who he is. That's right. Yeah. Like he's a geezer now. You know, at my age, the mind starts playing tricks. He really is a geezer. Oh, where were we? So I think he should just retire. I think he should just enjoy his daughter and his family, do a lot of outings, yeah. and, and, and just enjoy his life. Let this be your swan song video. Yeah, Doug. please mm-hmm. be swan song. Maybe, like you your know, re-entry. Golf, golf outings yeah. and, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, supermarket openings. That's sort yeah. of There you go, a supermarket opening. Get a yeah. big gold scissor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Before we go further, we got to take a break. Hey, podcast! Yeah, we have a new feature on Trenton Waves. <gasps> what That's is right. it? What is it? CallTrentonWaves.com. CallTrentonWaves.com. You go there, you open up a free account, mm-hmm. and what you do is you leave us a voicemail, and then we play your voicemail right on the air. I don't ever listen to my voicemail. You don't have to. Oh. No, this will get emailed to us. Hey, you got a new voicemail. And then you play it, and it's recorded in high quality. We have one right now we're going to play. Here we oh, go. Oh, okay. Hey, Trent Waves. Uh, this is Ben. I'm calling out of Caldwell, Idaho, and uh, I've heard every single episode of Trent Waves, and uh, I just wanted to call in. I heard about the uh, new call-in feature, and I wanted to try it out, so that's really it. And uh, just, I love the show, and I love listening to Christina and, and Frank. I don't have anything against the guests. I just, I just love how much fun Christina and Frank have. Christina's so awesome, too, and I'm just a guy, though, but I love her stories, especially when she talks about Twister. I just really love the two of them. Okay, thanks. Bye. Jeez. Wow. Was, you couldn't have written that. He loves, I know. He loves I feel the like... Twister story. He had a good voice, too. I know he did. He's, he's, he needs his own show. Really, we have a lot of listeners well, that need their own shows. You tell them, you'll fly them out. Ooh. All expense paid uh, motor shut coach. Up, Bill. Bill, be quiet. I'm going <laughs> to lower your mic. Where's Ben from? Chad, Idaho. So Idaho. Chadwell. Ooh. Was it Chadwell? I don't Chad's know. Chadsworth. Somewhere. Chadsworth? I don't know well, what he said now. Idaho. Idaho. Definitely Idaho. Oh. We, we have, should have a contest. People call in, and then we vote on our favorite call, and then we fly them to Trenton. Look, I got to stop you. This is a promo for calltrentonwaves.com. All right, Bill, <laughs> shut up. Just shut up. We'll come back to you in a minute. And they stay at Bill's house. They stay at Bill. Yeah, exactly. You know what? Good. They wear his underwear, too, on their head. That's the winner. That's the winner. <laughs> All right, so coldtrentonwaves.com, leave a voicemail on there, and we will play it on the show. Maybe if you have a question, we'll answer your question. Uh, uh-huh. And maybe we'll fly you out to Trenton. Or maybe we won't, and it's most likely we won't. <laughs> the we Lux Motor Coach from Greyhound. your home to Trenton. <laughs> With a salami sandwich. <laughs> you, you and your Trenton Waves chaperone. <laughs> 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 And smack your selection at the bus terminal lunch counter. <laughs> All right. Before boarding your luxury, he doesn't coach. stop. We're doing a promo to oh, I'm maybe sorry. an Orange Julius. <laughs> he really is a bastard of goodness. An Orange Julius. I love mm-hmm. them. <laughs> All right, we'll get back to that. They're on the lower level. You're choo choo. <sighs> he really is an idiot. Cut my mic. CallTrentonWaves.com. 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 All right, we're back. We're almost halfway through a five-minute video. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like an eternity. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Here we go. <laughs> the number one priority was getting the energy money to communities, and uh, he, he worked, worked on it. He's still talking. The U.S. <laughs> Senate. And together we uh, we made some beautiful music for the people of Trenton and uh, for the people of this country. Can anybody hum a few bars of this music? I don't they know. made beautiful music for the people of Trenton, Bob Menendez and Doug Palmer. This was around the time he was down in the Dominican Republic. Yes. You know? No one ever remembers that. Oh, I don't yeah. even remember him. 
Bob Menendez. He's a oh state senator. God. Is he still? Yeah. Yeah. He is? Mm-hmm. Why are these people he, still around? He, they're this all guy, this old. Guy, this guy has been up on charges and <laughs> yeah. corruption. He's exactly. Like, he's as New Jersey as you get. It's yeah. like, if you don't have at least 13 corruption <laughs> yeah. charges, you're nobody. trafficking. <laughs> yeah. so, and, him, and him and Doug made beautiful music together. <laughs> oh, well, that's wonderful. No. Yeah, Ouch. That's, what, that's what you say when you have no idea what else to say. <laughs> because... What did Menendez bring to the city of Trenton? I've been here for 35 years, and I just can't remember. Well, I, I don't even I remember him. He's in a, another load. All Please. Right, well. All right, here we go. I'm going to tell you something about Doug Palmer that very few people know. One night at an event, after dinner, the music started playing, and we were asked to dance. We got out on the dance floor next to one another, and suddenly I stopped. Looked Wait, over. he's on the dance floor with two, Doug? Two men dancing. <laughs> so is him and Doug dancing? Yes. No, uh, oh, okay. We're yeah. on the dance floor with one another, That's what said. they said, and he All looked right. at him, and he said... All right, keep going. Oh, I thought they were dancing together. That's what they were. Oh, wait, let, me hear like, let, me, let me hear that again. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something about Doug Palmer that very few people know. One night at an event, after dinner, the music started playing, and we were asked to dance. We got out on the dance floor next to one another, and suddenly I stopped, looked over to him and said, You know what, Doug? You are the first black man I have ever known who can't dance. Oh, that's hilarious. Nobody can dance to the Godfather theme. (laughs) (laughs) Well, maybe you can waltz to it. Or they waltz. Actually, it is a waltz. (laughs) Yes, it is. It is a waltz, that, that song. I don't think they were waltzing. Listen, I know you made your peace with Bob Pernetti. Um, <laughs> that's, a, that's a whole yeah, nother I have to tell that show. story. That was no, a great story. No, please, but that's too long. I made my peace with him. But yeah. we saw him the other day, and he does not look like that. No. No. <laughs> no. And he has gray hair here. Yeah. He was very nice and very pleasant. We saw him at the lobby club. Yeah. But he, he's not that age anymore. No. If I'm going to talk <laughs> about somebody that yeah. I really believe in and I really think did a great job, I'm going to have a story that is... Got some meat to it right. like this is what joe smith did i remember we were in the trenches story. and yep. with this and that and we were we marched around the place where they were gonna knock down the houses and we went around it seven times like joshua you know we sang together and we we fought it blah 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 like frank whedon i could tell you mm-hmm. hundreds of stories about yeah, frank whedon exactly this is like <laughs> Bob, say something nice about me. Oh, crap. Oh, it's oh, the, the black the, guy can't dance thing. Oh, that yeah, that, that's a funny story. Okay, I'll tell that. Like, really? That's what you come up with? The viewers haven't heard it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's an old one, but wow. nobody, nobody else has Only seen but a goodie. It, it. Wow. Well, he may not be able to dance, but no one can question his heart or his friendship. His heart has always been there for the city of Trenton. He's done whatever he's had to do, reached out to both sides of the aisle, to do his best for his city. Uh, I'll tell you what. I can question his friendship. I can question his heart. I'll start with the questioning of his friendship. I'm okay. questioning the DeWolf Music Library music underneath all this. <laughs> <laughs> Another copyright. <laughs> copyright, guys. Ding, ding. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. So I call up Doug. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen him in years. The last time I saw him, him and I were in Maxine's. And he came over to me and he said, Frank, 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 Frank. And he put his arm around me. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't understand what's going on. We were, we were friends. We were friends. And we were friends. Yeah. I, had no, I really didn't have a problem with Doug. Okay. As, a, right. as a person, I had no problem with him. I hadn't seen him for years. Hadn't spoken to him for years. Mm-hmm. You know, like friends do. Yes. I call him up. I get him on the phone. I said, hey, Doug, I would love to do an interview with you, just you and me. And we'll sit like, you know, and just talk about our friendship and talk about just, doesn't have to be anything, politics, nothing. Just just a, a cool chat with Doug Palmer. Mm-hmm. Just Up be you and me. And, personal. and I yeah. said I would let him hear it first. He could tell his story. Yeah, mm-hmm. I would let him hear How it first. He, he could talk about anything <clears throat> he wants. Right. I would let him hear it before I post it. Great, great, great. Fine. We have a date. He cancels. Okay, well. He had a, he had a death. Okay, no I don't know problem. if it was in the family or family friend. What? Totally cool. No problem. I totally understand. Mm-hmm. Let's reschedule. No problem. So I wait a while. I call him after a while. It must have been about maybe... Three weeks to a month, I would mm-hmm. say. I would safely say three weeks to a month. I don't get anywhere. Don't get any call back, nothing, no text back, nothing. I see him at the lobby club mm-hmm. when Crystal Feliciano was doing her announcement. Mm-hmm. I see him in there. I go I go behind him. And I said, hey, man. And he like, look, he all smiled. He looked, he, he was sitting down. I came up behind him. Sitting all smiling. And then he turns around, sees me. His face just drops. Like his whole attitude changed. Mm-hmm. And I said, dude, what's going on, man? You want to, I thought we were going to do a show together. What's happening? Well, what, what, what is this all about anyway? 
like he got really defensive and pissy. And yeah. I said, "Hey, you know what, man? Don't worry about it. Forget Don't it. worry about it. You know what, Doug? You're a punk. You're not a friend, and that's it. So as far as his level of friendship, no one can question it. I question it. That's my question. <laughs> right. What friendship? Right. Anyway, so we're at the lobby club, and it turns out right as Crystal is about to give her announcement, we're sitting down in the booth. You're sitting to my right. I'm in the middle. Doug Palmer is on my left. I'm telling you, you could hear a pin drop. All of a sudden, you hear this. I'm not kidding. It was his ringtone on his phone. And he's like, he's frantically trying to shut the thing off. He can't shut it. He finally, he shuts it off. And he turns and he looks at me. And I'm looking at him. And he goes, you would be sitting next to me when that goes off. This that's, guy's obsessed with the Godfather. Well, Who he, has that's that not the ringtone? first time that's happened. Really? That's happened at other places before. Sometimes I wonder if it's a plant. Like, I'm going to show these people. I got their attention, called himself, or had someone call him. I just... Really? Why would, Why you, would you anybody right. know that? I know, really. But it's appropriate. Oh, it is appropriate, because mm-hmm. he wants to be the Godfather. He thinks he is. Mm-hmm. He but thinks he's, he's the Godfather. He's the grandpa. Well, have you seen those zoot suits? Yeah. Flashy dresser. I think he's a granddaddy. He needs to wait for his grandchildren to come and play with them and leave Trenton alone. Well, I question the heart because he's talking about Palmer's heart for the city. Really? Where Where is he? Does he live here? All I see is that he still wants to get his claws in the city to do what he wants to do in the city because his ego is so big and he wants to make a name for himself again. Doesn't matter what that effect well, has on the residents. Yeah. I think yeah. he also fashions himself to be somewhat of a kingmaker. You yeah. know, that, mm-hmm. that I, I have the people of Trenton in my pocket. They'll do what I say because right. they really love me. But he mm-hmm. has his hands in our local elections, you know. And our last council, one thing they went a little too far on, but you can't really argue with it in some respects, is what's with all the outside interests inside yeah. uh, about our city? Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know? I know, why are so many people outside trying to pretend that they're from here? Or mm-hmm. people, sent, you know, whose interests are here, but they live and send their kids to other schools. And anybody, if they could and had the means, they would send their kids to the best schools. Of course. But when you're the mayor and the schools aren't good enough, when you're the police director and you can't live here because you're afraid, <laughs> but you're the one who's tasked with right. handling our gang problem. <laughs> right. The right. top cop uh, you know, is afraid. Uh, yeah. And he ended up getting booted for non-residency. Right. Like in any political thing, there's accomplishments and then there's, there's the things nobody wants to talk about. Right. I feel like Trenton in general doesn't want to even recognize when things don't go well and for why, why they didn't go well mm-hmm. because it's easier just to stay positive about everything mm-hmm. and i said well that's why you end up with bad leaders because you just ignore this or that about someone it doesn't mean the whole community's bad mm-hmm. it just means this or that person right. you know i also look at it as some of these people have been at the trough so to speak for yeah. decades yeah. and other people deserve a chance that's how it should work that's how i believe it was designed to work mm-hmm. but the party system is really it kind of runs parallel to well i'm not on the inside of the party so i'm outside the party which is one step away from being the other party right Mm -hmm. you know and it's a shame it's just how it is if i if a candidate doesn't deliver huge fundraising for the party then you're not going to get party support and Mm -hmm. keep alive this 1920s way of campaigning where it's signs and trucks with loudspeakers and (laughs) parties and and silly hats and you know know. telling people that the uh, the the janitor endorsed me you know it's just i I mean uh, people whatever i'm not going to change it but we're in 2023 almost Mm -hmm. and why are we still doing stuff that was a hundred years old and nobody's afraid to change it because we don't know which one works so don't it's like you might as well wave a chicken bone and feathers over the whole procedure like they do over at our ballot counting right now right and hope that the santeria priestess oh delivers god. us oh accurate god. results oh my god anyway i went on a little rant no, that's so Mike, true did you Endorsed ever fly me. southwest i mean come on no but dude i have a i have a working brain cell i even know not to yes, fly southwest I, yeah. no. my personal favorite endorsement was mm. the one damien malave got from george washington that's another episode mm. oh, that man. i'm like you know what george washington endorsed him that's better than bill clinton <laughs> that is better than bill clinton it is better yeah. anything's better now back to the video doug on this day i want to wish you the very best and tell you that trenton mercer county and the state of new jersey 
are better for your stewardship. One second now. That was Brian Hughes, the current county executive. Before he drove and, to France. <laughs> we'll get back to that in a minute, Bill. You're a, you're a, you really are. You're a lunatic. You're a maniac. There is something legitimately wrong what did with you. you put in this coffee? <laughs> <laughs> he talks about Brian's a friend, but he's got to go. And then he has the balls to put Brian I Hughes know. in his little exploratory video. We're going to get him out of is. office, but even he thinks I'm the guy. <laughs> Maybe 35 even years my, ago when this video was made. Even my enemies love me. Mikey oh likes him. God. And hey, plus, Mikey. This, it's like well, this is before they had to wheel Brian Hughes out on a hand truck. Listen, yes. to give this. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Let not him think he may receive anything from God. That's right. Even though he's all blessed. Right. Even though he's blessed. Okay. And then my next personal favorite is this guy, Jack, from the Trenton Marriott. He was oh, yeah. Jeff Zeiger. He had a vision for our city, and he carried through on that vision. Take politics out of it. Make politics not the issue. When you look at Doug Palmer, that exemplifies leadership. He's an inspiration to me and a lot of other Trenton businessmen, and I'm very proud to call him my friend. A lot of people calling him friend, right? <laughs> Where's this guy now? Well, he's not a businessman. He's a politician. Right. Mm -hmm. And if you take politics out of it, you got nothing. <laughs> What's I he mean, have to say? He's as political as it comes. <laughs> Speaking of old videos, where's Zeiger today? As a matter of fact, where's the Trenton Marriott today? <laughs> he's the GM. He's the GM of the Trenton Marriott. I yeah. wonder if he's still well, on he the payroll. Well, he was when it opened. Yeah, yeah. when it I know. opened. And, I know. And then when nobody stayed there, he wasn't the manager anymore. He canceled his reservation. <laughs> Well, by, just a little side note, Jeff Zeiger's father, Shelly Zeiger, a Russian-American, was the first person to bring a McDonald's to Moscow. And we see how that went. Mm. <laughs> I don't think there's any left over there now. Yeah. <laughs> but so maybe it's his fault. Years ago, they, they were at their pinnacle. As president, I knew Doug Palmer as the mayor of Trenton. Oh, transformed God. the city through a combination of policies and programs that made real differences in the lives of its residents. But it wasn't until after I left office that I got to know Doug as a friend. Then with a friend. by an issue important to both of us, climate change. Under Mayor Palmer's leadership, the U.S. Conference of Mayors partnered with my foundation's climate initiative. Wait a second. Would it really climate change? Roll it back to 2010. That was the buzzword. Back oh, was then. it? That's what it is. But even in Trenton? N well... In political higher up thing in poli in Trenton, it's you know well, they're ha they're having we got the head of the police afraid to live here. We're worried about climate change right now. <laughs> Listen, we have we just got a huge grant to uh, fund a commission to study climate change in Trenton. You know, it's take oh. whatever money comes our way. In fact, out where I live on the island, there are already public sessions to talk about flood mitigation and climate change and all that. And I asked my neighbors, I was like, well, what's the point of it? Mm -hmm. Well, nobody could really say what the point was. Are they, are they going to buy us out? <laughs> mm -hmm. Are they just going to tell? Or did they just get money from well, ARPA that they course. have to spend right. by having this stuff that will never hear again i said i'm tired of wasting we take any time, time we can get yeah. and it's they're ridiculous. gonna and they're gonna author a report and submit a report that gets thrown in a file <sighs> that that now we're gonna have in 10 years when they have to pull it out we have to refund that same report all That's over right. again That's so we right. can do nothing with it again it's all you know bullshit. honky it doesn't do anything to the people of mercer county or trenton to know that he became friends with Bill Clinton after he left office. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. so he has a celebrity friend. Great. You right. know, and Bill Clinton's done a lot, like rebuild Haiti seven times, and we see how well that's gone, right. too. But yeah. right. I guess this is really to impress political people, because when the Clintons were in office, there was no visits here by the Clintons. No. You know, th yeah. There was nothing that, that federal, no federal money came here because mm -hmm. of the Clintons. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just a chance to show off somebody. Was he supposed to get a job with a president? Don't in, know. Maybe, I believe maybe so. in Hillary's campaign, oh, but okay. he ended up, you know, I guess either for whatever reason, not, and then he went with Bloomberg. Oh, so. I gotta okay. say, as the former president, even <laughs> I would not have Doug in my cabinet. <laughs> maybe in a cabinet, but not my cabinet. <laughs> When he comes on the scene and starts talking, all I hear is static. <laughs> <laughs> all I hear is I did not have sexual relations with a woman. Miss Lewinsky. <laughs> it was only a... <laughs> <laughs> it was only a cigar. <laughs>
<laughs> I did not say lie on the deposition. I said lie in this position. <laughs> All right, let's go. It depends what the means. Uh, let's get back to Bill. <laughs> to expand access to affordable clean energy technologies to 1,100 mayors throughout America, to help cities reduce their greenhouse gas emissions, cut their energy costs, and create new green jobs. After traveling with me to Africa to see my foundation's projects, Doug decided to broaden the mission of his Trenton First Initiative to support community programs to help low- and moderate-income families to retrofit their homes, install solar panels, and develop other clean energy solutions. Through these efforts and so much more, Doug Palmer has been good for Trenton for the last 20 years and good for America during some very tough times. I hope you'll continue. It's an endurance test. I want to see how long we can go. I can't. I got to stop because I don't know what he's talking about. (laughs) Where were the difficult times? I know. What was the the difficult times? 2008, Uh, the recession. (laughs) When the when the when all the poor people lost their stocks. What are these solar panels and green and it? What what? I don't know. It looks like PSE and G and <laughs> yeah, yeah, they really. picked up with that right. stuff. Well, those exactly. are federal. No, but those are federal programs that allow them to subsidize chunks of that. Okay. I don't really know what Mayor Palmer did with all that. It was all uh, you know <laughs> above. That was that. probably PSE and G doing some kind of corporate business thing right yeah, yeah. absolutely I, and to be honest i don't see any initiative that ever happened as far as green anything mm, no because it would still be here right Right. So, but, you know if they said okay well we have solar panels on top of city hall now but we don't or the <laughs> animal shelters run 100 percent off the grid you know there, there's right, right that would show a little bit now right. i will say i don't know if this counts as green but there has been a group that does bike lanes and that sort of thing and i've seen those right. appear that just encourages i don't know if it's green but it does encourage mm-hmm. something that we didn't see before right right but i think that comes from a private initiative of uh, yes. people like channel cycle revolution yes like know. a non-profit right right mm-hmm. yeah that not having anything to do with, with green Doug palmer or this guy well bill is not done talking oh god i hope he'll continue this good work as a private citizen working on the issues he cared about most to improve the lives of people he mentions doug that he followed through with this as a private citizen i really hope whatever he does do it's as a private citizen <laughs> Well, I will say, on his behalf, he did start something called the Trenton Literacy Project, um, which tries to get, I think it's part of his foundation, or was his foundation, and if I'm not mistaken, Yasmin Ellie is on the board of that. Really? Shocking. Uh, I know. (laughs) Yeah, they know each other. I thought thought you were going to say she's in the program. Yeah, she's in the program. <laughs> because Sherry Garrett needs to hop on yeah, that, too. She, well, she does. She can't spell the woman, Sherry Garrett. No. There were no. more than a few spelling mistakes on candidate banners this yeah. time around. And, mm. Yeah. You know. I didn't know Yasminelli and Doug Palmer knew each other. That's a coincidence. Really? Just a coincidence. Just a coincidence. I'm shocked. Sure. <laughs> it's just a coincidence. <laughs> Even more people in Trenton and around the world now. And around the world? <laughs> I thank, thank you for being my friend, friend, and I thank all of you. Oh, my God. <laughs> wait a minute. Well, he did go to Africa. Oh, wait a minute. Is that the end? That's the end, but it says there's this banner at the end of the video. Oh, so God. Bill Clinton can call Doug Palmer at, like, 2 in the morning yeah. when he's, like, having mm-hmm. a bad dream because, right. like, he's his friend. It's like, hey, Doug, I really wanted to talk to you because, like, yeah. I had a really bad dream. Bill, Bill, and Bill, I just, Bill, Bill. I need to talk to my best friend. <laughs> no, it's more, it's more like... <laughs> Where can I meet some ladies after hours <laughs> in these parts? Doug. On the last part of this video, there's mm-hmm. a graphic of mm-hmm. Doug, like, arm in arm mm-hmm. with these other people walking down the street. And it says in red, by the way, again, I'm speaking out of editing. You don't use red text on it the screen. Vibrates. No. You don't. It's, it's that no NTSC good. crawl. You don't. Yeah. All right. Okay. It says Douglas H. Palmer, always been on the front line. Is it Yaz right. put that together? <laughs> what, mm-hmm. Again, it's with the, the local with the wording. <laughs> It's, it's has it's, always been. It's bad grammar. Douglas H. Palmer always been on the front line. I believe it's that literacy thing kicking that in That literacy again. program, mm-hmm. yeah. That's apparently. why I think, I think Yaz directed this. <laughs> All right, so then there's a bunch of graphics. Okay. The champ is here. Oh, with the chump is here playing. Chump is here. The chump is here. The chump is here. Chump. The chump is here. Oh, there's more. Oh, John Corzine. Oh, more. And then more photos. Him with a big check. Yeah, I'm smiling. The champ is 
Him with Hillary Clinton. He's standing behind Hillary Clinton. Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> so was Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah, Forrest Gump was talking to Nixon. <laughs> and the Pope. Oh, there he is again. Just random pictures. And that's it. Just like weird. Doug Palmer may challenge Brian Hughes for Mercer County Executive. Look, whatever he did on the backs of Trentonis, whatever he made, he's going to try and make on the backs of Mercer, Mercer County, County residents yeah. now. Right. And he's going to use Trenton, too, to seed his development cronies. Well, it's the biggest voter base, mm-hmm. so he can... Yeah. You know. I'm going to make a prediction. He started out as a Mercer County freeloader, freeholder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's going to... This is how he's going to finish it out. He's done. Doug, Me, you're done. D- Hang it up. This video is how he's going to finish this it. This video is so badly produced. The thing that's <laughs> funny about it is that it's so old that the people that he has on there yeah. to promote him is actually detrimental right. to the message I think mm-hmm. he would probably want to send. Oh. So basically what he did, he did us all a favor by putting out a video that really puts him down. You know what makes me wonder? What has he done from 2010 till mm-hmm. today? Right. That's yeah. what I want right. to know. Apparently nothing worthy enough of a of video get it, or getting elected. <laughs> well, Bill Clinton said he was a private citizen this whole time. Well, All so. right. So as a private citizen, yeah. I think he could have been doing fantastic things. I agree. And I mean, the literacy I- project didn't take his, all of his time. <laughs> Well, because he is running it. True. (laughs) But the thing is, if you have stuff that you've done, it should be current, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Not 10, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. What have you done for me lately? Right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Exactly right. Or as Bruce Springsteen would say, glory days. Passed you by glory days. (laughs) Well, I think it's a nice feel-good video for the people (laughs) 70 plus who were there during all that. I remember that. Uh, 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 Surfy, get the fish. <laughs> get the what? The, the fish. fish. Oh, the fish. I don't know, he likes fish. <laughs> Whoever, whoever's married to Sophie. <laughs> Tuna fish. <laughs> right, and, and we're back. Ah. Tuna fish. Mel, 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 Gibson. Mel, Mel Gibson's coming on the show. <laughs> Mel Gibson, the artist in Trenton. Mel You'll Gibson. love him. And none of that chunk light. <laughs> Mel no, Gibson. No, we're going to go to Italian People's Bakery. I'm not Good. making it. Oh, my goodness. So I just feel tired after watching that. I feel like I relived 20 years. I know. <laughs> I know you, I, look, and it I, wasn't good. I know you're both tired, but would you like to hang around for a little something we call plugs? Sure. Hell yeah. <laughs> Trenton Waves Plugs. Hey, podcastia, let's see what this guest has to plug. Trenton Waves, TrentonWaves.com. Visit us on all social media, including YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and yes, TikTok. Oh. So, what do you got to plug? I'm ready to get back to a, doing a normal show. Yes, yes. I've enough of this political enough of this nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> I miss a net. I mean, I miss some of that stuff, but I mean, I'm done. I'm done with that. I want. I want to hear happy things. Yeah, I want to talk to Mel Lipson or Mel Gibson, whoever I want to talk to. <laughs> Mel from as played by Vic Tayback from the show Alice. <laughs> All <laughs> the Mel's. All the Mel's. <laughs> Mel from Frasier. <laughs> Bill, you have anything to promote? I do. I just found out about this this morning. It was called the Holiday Pop-Up Market here in Trenton. Local business, local art, local music. You can find out more at restoringtrenton.org slash downtown pop-up. It starts Saturday, November 19th at 10 a.m. and then has a couple, four dates through November 30th. So check it out online. Shop local. Yeah, so that was a full meal. It wasn't even a good meal. It was a full meal. It was fun, though. It ruined my we appetite. laughed a lot. That was re- uh, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> this is not made up. This is true. No, we can't write this stuff. This <laughs> stuff is just make amazing. This stuff up, folks. Amazing. I need some brioche. <laughs> Remember that? Do they still make it? <laughs> brioche. <laughs> Wow. Oh, they sell anyway. it next to the prosciutto bread. <laughs> the oh, nice. They do. They do? <laughs> yes. Because I always said, I God. love this bread, but I get such indigestion. Then they had a display of Brioski <laughs> next to it in the blue bottle, you know? Yes, yes. I said, I want it just to have the blue bottle. That's how I know I'm pop up age. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so is that how you know? <laughs> really? Well, you other ways. Uh. <laughs> Well, podcast, you can watch this video. We're going to help Doug out. We're going to help him yeah, with some views. Yeah, let's promote because this. Because 203 views. And it's been like up that. for a while, right? I don't know. I honestly don't know. But, you know, it's... it's well, definitely since tell, the his, weekend. Well, again, I want to help out his proctologist's YouTube channel. Yes. And we'll see what happens. All right. So that is yet another episode of Trenton Waves. Sasso's, Sasso's out. out. 
You've been listening to the Trenton Waves podcast. Visit us online at trentonwaves.com. Zany madcap fun. <laughs>